This is the story of Saint Damien of Molokai. Introduction Father Damien is well known around the world as the Leper Priest. In both the Latin Rite and Eastern Rites of the Catholic Church, Damien is venerated as a saint. In the Anglican Communion, as well as in other denominations of Christianity, Damien is considered the spiritual patron for leprosy, AIDS patients, and outcasts. Early Life Saint Damien was born on January 3, 1840, in the village of Tremelo in Belgium. He was the seventh child to a Flemish corn merchant, Franz de Wester, and his wife, Cato Wouters. His baptismal name was Joseph, and his pet name was Jeff. His father, being a merchant, had to travel European countries often, and naturally, his mother looked after the children in their studies and upbringing. Damien's parents were devoted Catholics, and the child was baptized within one month of its birth. He was a smart boy who was interested in skating. He was kind, gentle, and charitable to all and especially to the poor. He would share his food with them, he was always pleasant, although occasionally mischievous. Jeff completed his primary education in 1853. In the same year, his brother Auguste joined the seminary. Jeff wanted to follow in the footsteps of his brother, but his father's plan was to make him a merchant like himself. Jeff's inner call was so strong that his father had to give assent to his son's wish at last. He attended the college of St. Brain Le Comte and then entered the novitiate of the Congregation of Sacred Heart of Jesus and Mary in Leuven. He took the name Brother Damanius Damien in French. In his first vows, presumably in reference to St. Damien, Brother Damien wanted to become a priest like his brother, but his superiors thought that he was not a good candidate for priesthood, as he lacked education. However, he was not considered unintelligent. He learned Latin well from his brother. Then his superiors changed their mind and decided to allow him to become a priest. During his ecclesial studies, he used to pray before a picture of St. Francis Xavier, a great patron of missionaries, to be sent on missions. Three years later, his prayer was answered. Because of illness, his brother Auguste could not travel to Hawaii as a missionary. And so, Damien was allowed to take his place. Mission to Hawaii on March 19, 1864, Damien landed at Honolulu as a missionary. There, Damien was ordained to priesthood on May 21, 1864 at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Peace, a church established by his religious order. Next year, he was assigned to the Catholic mission in North Kohala on the island of Hawaii. As Father Damien was serving in several parishes, the Kingdom of Hawaii was facing a public health crisis. The native people became affected by diseases introduced by foreign traders and sailors. Thousands died of influenza, syphilis, and other ailments which had never before affected them. Leprosy also was among the diseases. At that time, Leprosy was thought to be highly contagious and incurable. The Hawaii government had an act passed by the legislature which sought to prevent the spread of leprosy. This act quarantined the lepers of the kingdom. They were moved to a remote village where they were settlement colonies. Thousands of lepers, isolated and torn from their families, lived a miserable life in these colonies. The government provided the quarantined people with supplies and food, but the resources for proper health care were insufficient. Medical help was inadequate. According to the government plan, the lepers could cultivate the land and grow their own crops, but it was nearly impossible due to the nature of the environment and their sickness. Gradually, 
the good-natured people became lazy and easygoing. Drunken and immoral conduct prevailed among them. Bishop Louis Magret, the vicar apostolic, was conscious of the spiritual needs of the lepers in the colonies. They needed, at the very least, a priest to minister their needs. But he knew that such, such an assignment could potentially be a death sentence. So he did not send any person in the name of obedience. The bishop was looking for priests who volunteered. After prayerful thought, four priests volunteered. The bishop wanted them to take turns assisting the sufferers. Father Damien was the first to volunteer. On May 10, 1873, he arrived at the secluded settlement at Kalau Papa. The bishop, Margaret, presented him to 816 lepers who lived there. Damien's first course of action was to build a church and establish the parish of St. Philomena. His role was not limited to being a priest. He dressed the eulchers of the lepers, built homes and beds, made coffins and dug graves. Six months after his arrival there, he wrote to his brother, Father Pamphyl, in Europe, I make myself a leper with the lepers to gain all to Jesus Christ. Damien's arrival was indeed a turning point for the community. Under his benevolent leadership, basic laws were enforced, shacks became painted houses, working farms were organized, and schools were erected. At his own request and that of the lepers, Father Damien remained on Molokai and death. In 1884, while preparing for power, Damien put his foot into scalding water, causing his skin to blister. He felt nothing. It was a painful discovery. He had contracted leprosy. In spite of the discovery, Damien worked vigorously building as many houses as he could and planning programs to be continued after he was gone. Masana Goto, a Japanese leprologist, came to Honolulu in 1885. He treated Father Damien and his treatment gave him some relief. This doctor was very popular with the Hawaiian patients. He was a friend of Damien. In his last years, Damien was very active. He continued his charitable activities and hastened to complete his building projects and orphanages. Now help came from outside to assist the ailing missionary. A priest, a soldier, a male nurse and a nun were his helpers. An arm in a sling, a foot in bandages, and his leg dragging. Damien knew that death was near. He was bedridden on March 23, 1889, and on March 30, he made a general confession and renewed his vows. On April 1st, he received Holy Viaticum, and on April 2nd, Extreme Unction. Father Damien died of leprosy at 8 a.m on April 15, 1889. He was aged 49. The next day, there was a holy mass at St. Philomena's. Then, the whole settlement attended the funeral at the cemetery. There, Damien was laid to rest under the same Padanus tree. There, he first slept upon his arrival on Molokai. The Catholic Church examined Damien's fitness for beatification and canonization. The Roman Curia reviewed the documentation, published and unpublished criticisms against the missionary's life and work. In April 2008, the Holy See accepted two miraculous cures as evidence of Father Damien's sanctity. In the first case, on June 13, 1992, Pope John Paul II approved the cure of a nun in France in 1895 as miracle attributed to Venerable Damien's intercession. Sister Simplicia Hugh started a novena to Father Damien as she lay dying on lingering intestinal illness. It is stated that pain and symptoms of the illness disappeared overnight. In the second case, Audrey Toguchi a Hawaiian woman who suffered from cancer was completely cured after having prayed to the grave of Father Damien on the island of Molokai. This was in 1997. 
In 1997, Pope Paul VI declared Father Damien to be venerable. This was the first on the three steps leading to sainthood. On June 4, 1995, Pope John Paul II beatified him and gave him the official title of the Blessed Father Damien. He was canonized on October 11, 2009 by Pope Benedict Sixteen. His feast day is celebrated on May 10. In Hawaii, it is celebrated on the day of his death, April 15. The Scottish author Robert Louis Stevenson and Mahatma Gandhi were two great admirers of this great apostle of lepers. Father Damien will always remain a great source of inspiration to humanity. The political and the journalistic world can boast very few heroes who compare with Father Damien of Molokai.